What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 10 of the 2020 Tour de France here on PCM and today we have the flattest stage of the race so far. So set to be a transitional day unless we have something like crosswinds causing some major changes in the GC. This is likely to be a mass sprint. So the stage gets underway and as you see we don't have the best race day conditions but Jens Kukulair on a decent day, he hasn't had much of a chance so far at this race. Let's see if he is allowed up the road. We're in this group for now, but being chased in. So not sure if we're allowed in today's break. And we do have some strong wins as well. So maybe best to play this a bit safe. So just a couple riders up the road for now. I won't put anyone in today's breakaway because of these wins. And on this section up here, leading into that final 15k or so, I think we can definitely try and do some damage with some crosswinds. Here we go then, the break has gone for the day and we have a total of four riders, including Oliveira right here, but we also have Mikel share some way up the rows by himself. And I'm not going to do any pacing, that is the job of the main sprinters teams today. Okay, big moment here because TJ Van Garderen goes down. So does Sam Bennett and he's not continuing. At this year's tour, my oh my, Bennett out of this year's race. That is a massive moment because probably one of the two favourites for today is out already. Okay, so we do have this intermediate sprint, which is very important for us with Betio in green right now. You can see we're leading by some way, so we should still hold it, hopefully, at the end of the stage. Let's prepare for this sprint. Can we maybe follow one of these guys? And worth noting, TJ Van Garderen will not make it back in to the Pelson. He will lose some time today. However, three K to go. We're sat in Peter Sagan's wheel with Alberto Betio. We have Sace Bowl here, Caleb Ewan just further back. And I'm going to stay on Sagan's wheel until maybe right now. Can we come through with Betio and take some points? Going early, working pretty well for us here with Betio. And we come second from the Pelson, only behind Viviani. 10 more points, absolutely perfect right there. Okay, so we are coming towards this section right now where we could have some potential echelons form, but the wind's not too strong, sadly. But you can see the guys going to the right-hand side of the road. So I have put some riders to the front. Let's tempo at 95, try and create some gaps right here. So really doing my best right here to create some gaps and we're pushing the tempo a lot, the peloton, Really is quite strung out right here. If we scroll through, you can see the guys really going into just one or two riders next to each other, especially at the front, but sadly, no gaps still. So I've given up on the idea of creating some gaps because it wasn't happening. The wind's just not strong enough today. So 17 k to go. This is going to be a mass sprint and our guys not looking in good condition after trying to create some separation right there. I think Dan Martinez... Uh, or oh, sorry, Sergio Higuita is going to be our option in the sprints, although he himself not looking too good at all. Here we come then onto this massive, crazy long bridge. Look at this shot here in the 2020 Tour de France. A beautiful sight. Aran is in a good position. I'll put him on Dan Martinez's wheel with 8k to go. Higuita, I don't think is going to be strong enough to sprint today, sadly. Uh, do we have Van Aert's wheel or can we follow anyone? Maybe Stace Bowl could be a decent wheel. Can I follow Viviani? Don't want to follow him. Uh, who else could we follow? Caleb Ewan. I can get in his wheel with Higita, but again, I don't think we're going to have the energy. So now 4k to go. Higita is not going to have the energy, sadly, to sprint for the win today. So maybe I'll drop back or even we'll just try and stay there. So today, just about retaining the yellow jersey for us. In fact, Caleb Ewan has come to the front already. So you know what? Why don't we try something? Dan Martinez going off the front. What is going on? Dan Martinez going for the win today. Can he hold it ahead of the sprinters? Caleb Ewan coming late and he is going to take the stage win. Martinez tries it at the end. The Zolo second, Viviani in third. But luckily for us, Martinez and Rigo around will stay right towards the front. That, of course, is the priority. I made the decision to try and create some gaps in the crosswinds, but it wasn't happening, sadly, for us. So we did really waste the chance of winning the stage, even though Martinez with a top five in the end, a great result right there. However, of course, the priority is around staying in yellow, just ahead of Thibaut Pino, faring a little bit better 
than he has done in the real life race. However, Bessio just about holding on to green, now just a couple points ahead of Nozolo and Caleb Ewan. And you can see the other competitions right here. Looking ahead then to stage 11 and really the last opportunity for the sprinters at this year's tour before Champs-Élysées. So can we maybe perform a little better with Alberto Betio? That has to be the goal because I think we will probably lose the green jersey tomorrow. Anyhow guys, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed today. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and tell me what you thought in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next one.